Hello, grade six, and welcome to this week's weekly breakdown. So, for this week, we are going to be starting with unit four, which is about the Earth's system, and we are going to talk about all these systems and the spheres, the rock cycle, water cycle, minerals, anything that revolves around the Earth system, we are going to be talking about it in this unit. Our first lesson is matter and energy in Earth's system. Since our last unit is energy, we are going to connect how energy is connected to the Earth system. As we said, that energy is the ability to do work and is interconnected to the environment also, specifically in Earth's system. We're going to be starting off with knowing what does system mean. So system is a group of parts that work together as a whole. This is what system is. And then we're going to be talking about two cycles, the water cycle and the rock cycle. So we are going to see how the water evaporates and then it moves into precipitation and then it goes back. And this is a whole cycle we call as the water cycle. And we will also be talking about the rock cycle how there is rocks that are hot that comes up from the volcanoes such as magma and lava and then they cool and then they turn into solid rock. This is also, it goes through a cycle and we call it as the rock cycle. Moving on to the most important part of this lesson which is the four main systems that Earth has. They are atmosphere, geosphere, hydrosphere and biosphere. Atmosphere is basically the gases that are found around us, such as oxygen, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen. As for geosphere, it includes the rocks or the solid metal inside of the rocky uh, layer of Earth. And we also are going to talk about the hydrosphere from hydro, hydration, which means water. As all the living things that live, we have the biosphere. How does this connect to energy? So all of these systems are what interconnected and energy has to flow between the sources of these systems, such as the sun or the earth's interior. And this drives a cycle of matter in the four spheres. This is how all the four spheres are interconnected by energy flow. And as usual, we are going to do a lot of interactivities, solve questions from our book, and also have online quizzes to assess ourselves. And by that, this is what we will be taking for this week. Thank you so much, sixth grade. If you need anything, please